This video brought to you by Gamefly. Go to GameflyOffer.com slash HaloCanon for a 30-day free trial. Stick around to the end for more details. Welcome back, Canonites, for a fairly exciting video. With the release of Halo 5 Forge, modders have been going into the game's files and finding all sorts of exciting stuff. Most exciting for lore fans, however, has been cut, or perhaps really, really obscure, dialogue. For today, I've picked out the most interesting ones that have been posted around, so we can take a listen and discuss any implications. Sources for this will be posted in the description box below, and I'd like to thank Dude Wadden and Crisper Storm on Twitter for posting the audio. Crisper Storm has also uploaded a ton of audio to Google Drive, which will also be linked in the description. First up is some cut Cortana dialogue. This first batch of audio sounds like Cortana was having an argument with the Warden of Turtle. I like to imagine that this would have played as a back and forth between Cortana and the Warden during the level of the breaking, but do note that we don't know when any of this upcoming audio was intended to play. This, after he rescued me from certain death, after the Halo, after the fall of Reach. I cared for him for four long years, alone. You dare call my friend an assassin? Fine, Warden. Fight them then. I'll speak with them once you've been properly embarrassed. So as said, it sounds like a bit of back and forth, like Cortana was having a major argument with the Warden. In the level of the breaking, she certainly doesn't seem to sound like she's letting the Warden fight Blue Team, throwing waves and waves of Prometheans at them, but other in-game dialogue does seem to hint at the idea that Cortana actually was letting that all happen. Myself and others have theorized that the whole level of the breaking was a sort of psychological ploy to, hopefully, sway the Chief's mind in favor of Cortana's plan. This audio would heavily conflict with such a notion, at least on the surface level. Regardless, it's interesting to hear the different direction the Cortana Warden dialogue could have gone in. If nothing else, I love hearing references to past books and games. Next up is an interesting bit of dialogue on the domain, one that really should have stayed in the game, either as dialogue or intel. The domain itself is changing around me. It's coming to life. It was meant to be connected, to be used. The whole system, it feels alive. It sounds like something Cortana might have said upon finding the domain, the early seeds of her plans for the Guardians. This, with other pieces of connected audio, really would have made for strong pieces of mission intel that could have better fleshed out aspects of Halo 5's story. After that, we have a cut piece of audio from Cortana's final speech. The only humans who have a chance of stopping me are safely locked away. There's not much to discuss here, but it's really interesting to hear. I can see, though, why it was cut. It doesn't really add anything to the speech, especially not for those playing the game. In fact, it's rather cliched, something we definitely don't need more of in Halo 5. That does it for Cortana dialogue, but we still have more pieces of cut audio. First is something cut from Warzone Firefight. Oni is investigating Covenant shields. Eliminate jackals and scan their projectors. Now, I'm somewhat mixed on this. Canonically, it makes no sense since jackal shields were the basis for Mjolnir shield systems, and surely in the years following the war, Oni could have procured Jackal shields from some source, be it their Sangheili allies or the Black Market. On the other hand, from a gameplay standpoint, an additional objective like this would definitely be welcome, and it sounds like something that could have been an interesting way to incorporate the Artemis tracking system into Firefight. If not that, perhaps just having to run around the map and collect Jackal shield gauntlets like collection missions in Destiny. Next up is a series of audio pieces that center around Endesha. The capital of this planet, Noctis, is featured heavily in Halo 5's multiplayer with Empire, Eden, Plaza, Urban, and the Battle of Noctis. Hello, visitors. The Unified Earth Government is proud to welcome you to the Andesian First Settlers Monument. In 2450, four Earth ships arrived in orbit around the planet they would come to call Andesia. The names of those stalwart ships were the CAA Heavy Crown, the CAA Bridge Church, the CAA Vienna Stinger, and the CAA Heartbreaker. Upon landing, the resourceful colonists tore down their spacecrafts and used the material to build their initial settlements. All rather interesting. Now, these may no longer be canon since they were cut, but if still canon, this would make Andesia a rather young colony. More interesting, however, is where these audio logs may have been found. 
Potentially, this audio could mean that Endesha, or more specifically Noctis, was at one point going to play a role in Halo 5's campaign. It would make sense given how prominent the planet is in Halo 5's multiplayer. Another possibility, a more likely one in my opinion, is that this would have played on the Battle of Noctis Warzone map. The first piece of audio does name the Endeshian First Settlers Monument, and the central structure in the Battle of Noctis is called Monument. It's kind of sad they never made their way onto the map, but I can kind of see them being a distraction during a game. Although, we've had similar stuff on maps, be them in Halo 5 or past titles, so the argument may not hold water. Anyway, this last bit of cut audio is probably the most interesting, it being a cut piece of mission intel featuring our favorite mysterious builder. Confirmation of dormancy. Guardians are stored and prepped for eventual reclamation. Uh, I make my way now to Shield World 983. Designation, Bastion. <laughs> so, wow, just wow. Now, as with the Endeshian audio, this may not be canon, but god damn if it is. We have the Builder confirming the dormancy of the Guardians, then referring to Bastion as a Shield World. Looks like Hidden Xperia called that one. Strange though is that he calls Bastion Shield World 983. Now, if you've read Halo Broken Circle, you know that the Shield World in that novel, called The Refuge by its inhabitants, was Shield World 0673, the last Shield World to be constructed by the Forerunners and never really finished. So how could Bastion be Shield World 983? As noted earlier, since this was cut, the canonicity is questionable. Perhaps the audio was recorded at a time before 343 had decided that the last Shield World being constructed was numbered 673, or maybe the 983 number will remain canon and there's some reason it exists and number 673 is the last one constructed. Whatever the case, I wish this or a piece of audio like it had remained in Halo 5. And that does it for the cut audio, but there's one last subject to touch on. In addition to all this, CRISPR Storm was able to find the individual AI pledges that we hear in the final level of Halo 5. So let's take a listen, and we'll stop on some of the more interesting ones. This is Cromwell, shipboard AI, UNSC Melbourne's pride. I am yours, Cortana. Jiang, Colonial Authority AI, Erdnet. I join with you, Cortana. First stop, Jiang. The interesting bit with her is that she calls herself a Colonial Authority AI, which means she works under the Colonial Administration Authority, or CAA. The CAA was the colonial arm of the United Earth government, overseeing all colonial matters and even having their own dedicated intelligence agency, the Department of Colonial Security. Over the course of the Human Covenant War, though, the UNSC absorbed many of the duties and responsibilities of both the UEG and the CAA until the CAA itself was basically non-existent. It would seem, however, that those powers were either returned or the CAA was resurrected sometime after the end of the war. Moving on. Governor Sloan, the free people of Meridian. I also stand with you, Cortana. Cleo, Overseer, UNSC Monitoring Station, Delta 5 Pluto. I am with Cortana. Louise, Education Superintendent, Mount Sharp Mars. I am yours, Cortana. Pausing again, this one is rather scary when you think about it. Luis is an education superintendent, not to be confused with the superintendent from ODST, meaning that she helps shape the minds of children. Think about that. With AI like Luis on her side, Cortana could shape these young minds to her will, brainwash them, basically. Special thanks, by the way, to CIA391 for pointing that one out, even before we got the individual audio logs. Moving on. Son Duke, Oni Weapons Research AI, New Gangwon. I pledge myself to Cortana. Kuei Ching, Station AI, Threshold Array. I will join you, Cortana. Kuei Ching is a rather interesting one. She's the Station AI for the Threshold Array. That's Threshold with a capital T, according to the subtitles, likely meaning the gas giant threshold around which Installation 04 once orbited. We've known for a while that the UNSC had a presence around the remains of Alpha Halo, but it's still cool to hear it directly mentioned. Anyway. Lycus, shipboard AI, Verdant Cimmerian. I stand with you, Cortana. And Darta, Agricultural Systems Manager, Homestead Facility. I am yours to command, Cortana. Aaron Lin, Administrator, Boson Research Facility, Kazmir. I stand with you, Cortana. Archie, 
UNSC Shipping Operations, Oban. I am yours to command, Cortana. Dylan, Overseer Pilvros Reclamation Facility, New Carthage. I am yours, Cortana. Epona, Shipboard AI UNSC Resolute Harmony. I am yours, Cortana. Guinevere, Macroeconomic Researcher, Anansi. My allegiance is to Cortana. Neru, Lead Slip Space Drive Engineer. Fujikawa Station. I serve you to the best of my ability, Cortana. Nothing major here, it's just cool hearing a station named after Wallace Fujikawa, one of the two who invented the Shaw Fujikawa Slipspace Drive. Anyway, last one. Vesta, Shipboard AI, UNSC Abstract Endurance. I stand with Cortana. And that does it. Nothing earth-shattering, but there's some really interesting mentions, and it's nice to hear all the AI pledges individually. Overall, this stuff was an amazing find, and this is just the canon-heavy stuff. There's a lot more to hear in that Google Drive folder, which is, again, linked below. There's also some really funny stuff in there. Two words. Grunt Radio. So, what did you all think of the audio presented here, or in the Google Drive? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks to those who extracted the audio, and thank you all for watching. Until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give a like and consider subscribing and sharing this video around. Also consider checking out Gamefly, with over 8,000 new releases and classic games for current and previous gen consoles, and even some older consoles, Gamefly is a great way to try tons of games without buying them. Go to GameflyOffer.com slash to start your 30-day free trial.